Hi, I'm Andrew McDougall. This is a hydrofoiling moth. It's been around for a few years now, but this is my design, the Mark II moth. I made a few changes and the main one starts right here. This is the foil. It was put on a moth by a bunch of guys in Perth who were just playing really. They never thought it would be a racing thing, but they just they played with various configurations. Um, one of them was this configuration done by John Islet. And this is the one that has become the racing version for the moth. I've made a lot of changes on the Mark II. It's a lot stiffer, has a bigger flap, it has a more aggressive flap. It controls the height of the boat a lot better. It's much more slippery. This is a tiller, which you'll find on many boats, but on a moth, you'll see guys twisting like this. This is changing the angle of the rudder, which changes the attitude of the boat, just like an aircraft. This is the secret to the moth. It's the wand, and it controls the flap on the bottom of the foil. It controls the ride height. And it allows us to sail on without being complete acrobats. It keeps the boat a certain distance from the water. When this goes up, the boat goes down. When this comes down, the boat goes up. Simple as that. Andrew, he's, he's always a constant refiner, and the biggest difference on the Mach 2 versus his previous design has been the foils, their shape, um, how, they're, how they're actuated, and also their footprint. He's moved the um, foils a little bit further apart, which has helped the balance of the boat and the stability at speed. So that's been the biggest improvement, and I'm sure there's a Mach 3 somewhere in his mind that he's working on too.